Welcome back to RGR Football. This is going to be a fun one. This is film review on Willie Gay Jr., who got his first significant snaps against the Denver Broncos in the snow. Uh, my name's Ryan. This is me going rogue on the Kansas City Chiefs and the NFL on the how-tos, how the film shows you what happens and what has to happen going forward. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the like and the sub and the bell notification so you know when something new comes out. We have all kinds of things, including these film reviews. If you missed yesterday's from Dan Harms, go check that one out all on the offense. We have stats reviews. We have game plans. We have live streams that will answer your questions as well as recap every single game. So hope that you're on and with us. Welcome all of you that are new. We're going to start here with Willie Gay Jr. who was lined up in a very particular spot because it, it's going to allow him to make a play here next to Anthony Hitchens, who's going to do some of the directing. That is going to be an important play. And this is a play from Locke that really shows off what Willie can do and why he's here. You can see that they are set up here in a, in a double tight, one eye side, as long as the H back as well. So you can see what the tendencies might come. And as we roll this forward, we're going to take a quick look at the tendency to come get sucked down by the play action, get back, get his hand up and make a play in space that really isn't another linebacker on this particular roster who's able to do this. As we see here, he's shuffling, and he's getting to the point here where he sees the bootleg come around. You're going to see it here from the snap. As the play comes off, the line is completely blocking down, and both Anthony Hitchens and Willie Gay Jr. are in here keyed on what's going on with Drew Locke. As we roll it forward, they're shuffling, shuffling, and here's the key difference. This is an experience thing. As you can see, with his back turned, as Drew Locke starts to plant on his edge side first, the play side foot, Anthony Hitchens has made this realization, and he understands that this is a boot coming. He's planted his edge foot and is starting to pivot his hips already, whereas he's leaning back into the play. Willie is leaning towards the fake still, and this is a visual cue. This is an experience thing, and you're going to see this as we start it again. Anthony is completely turned around and is already gaining distance back. He knows where his responsibility is. He's still keying in on visually what Drew Locke is doing. Willie is now starting to plant his foot. He is on one foot here, one foot off, trying to relocate and redirect his momentum and get back. This is the receiver that they're both going to be concerned about, and you can see why, because as Albert O comes off, Hitchin picks him up, but Hitch realizes he's not going to be able to keep with him. So Willie's come around on his head and understands there's nobody out here right here that he has to be concerned about. So as the play moves forward, he takes a glance back and he sees that O's already gotten past Anthony Hitchens and he knows that Hitchens is not going to be able to keep up with him. So he's got an eye, a bead on where this target might go that he has to be responsible for, but he's got to get back around on Drew Locke and follow it through. So he takes a good look, gets an idea of the route, comes back underneath and is keyed in on the release just in time to see the ball come off. And you have DB over here. You have Frank bearing down on him, and he's just in a position to get in the way. And he does exactly that. Making his first PBU, blocking that ball away, and what is actually a really, really nice play from the rookie that I think is a measure of what's to come. Getting into this second play is another look at what Willie in space can do. He has his own responsibility. He's coming outside. He takes a quick glance at the back to make sure he's been picked up. Now he's just floating, guarding what's going on with Drew Locke. And again, makes another nice leap to really take care of that in, in a space that a lot of linebackers are just overmatched. This is athleticism, but having a feel for how to use your athleticism to deflect passes. This is, again, the pre-snap where Locke's making adjustments. Willie's keyed in on him here. And notice something just for you uh, – trainer types, physiologists, this is a little bit of a concern. I, I want to look at, at Willie's physiology as go through the year. You can see the stance here with direct lines down Damian, down Anthony Hitchens, a little bit of a bend in at the knee for Willie Gay Jr. Want to see him develop some of his hip muscles and develop his lower body a little bit more so that he's a little bit more stout on the lower body, but he uses it to great effect. As we roll forward, you see this is a, a ball where Linebackers are keying, but this is not a fake handoff. This is Locke rolling immediately, and that's what Willie's watching. He's just got his eyes in space. 
Now he realizes that this boot is going forward and he's got to get an idea of where he is death wise. He's going to take a quick look to the sideline, see how fast that was versus the play that we saw a minute ago. Quick look and back, eyes on the quarterback. So he has learned in the space of a football game just how fast he's got to get his eyes back around. And he is in space. He's floating, gaining depth as well as uh, distance to the sideline in order to be in position to make this play. And as it comes through, he knows that he's got the delivery. This is not uh, the greatest leaning delivery by Drew Locke, but athleticism takes over here for Willie Gay Jr. And he elevates and gets that paw up, deflects that pass. Another big play from Willie Gay Jr. This is the third pass play that I want to demonstrate because this is a change. This is no longer base configuration for the Chiefs defense. This is Willie Gay Jr. now later in the game playing in the nickel, something that we haven't seen him do very much. And this is an important snap because you can see how the difference in the ground that he has to cover out of the nickel position versus the base really makes a difference here. And what I showed you earlier about the way that he's taking and developing how he's monitoring space around him, that plays into this play as well. Watch Willie lined up right here and you'll see, I'll try to keep this in nice slow motion so you can see exactly as the play develops what happens. He takes a look. He had Drew Lock pre-snap. Now he's got the stem on this particular tight end to see what's going on. Right here, he takes a look back at Drew Lock, and that's what seals it for Willie. He's still looking here as the receiver makes his cut, and now he's too late for the delivery of the ball. Alvaro gets this particular pass and has that completion pretty much knocked down by the time that Willie gets over there. This is a learning curve. This is, again, what he did earlier that worked real well. This one caught him by surprise a little bit. We're going to watch this from the back angle. And again, watch how he processes from the quarterback to the tight end to the quarterback. And that's what's going to get him at the end. At the end of the day, we'll see what the result is. As we roll it forward, key, snap, read, what that route is down in the corner here. And as he reacts, he knows when he's looking back at that quarterback that he's already out of position. Right here, as the cut comes, you can see he's still staring at Drew Locke and the receiver's going away, and now it's too late. At that point, he's got to dive for it. It's a completion. It's not the end of the world, but it, it does show that there's still some things that Willie Gate Jr. needs to do in pass garbage to improve. Now I'm going to take you backward in time. This is the first play of the game. So what we saw earlier was a progression of the pass through the game. This is the first snap where Willie is now playing in the base with Anthony. And where did Damien go? He's got to be over here. So what we're going to see here is the reads. Damien's been walked down the line like they used to do with Reggie Ragland. Reggie Ragland, by the way, is playing well up in Detroit for those who are monitoring and you can see that this is keying in on the tailback. Watch Willie as he's looking at Philip Lindsay. Sees him come downhill. And you can tell by the angle of approach that Lindsay takes from his initial start in the back there, coming down at a fairly narrow angle, really not leaving the hash mark that's been um, swept off here in the snow. Right there, he gets outside of it. And so that tells Willie where the ball is going. He might bounce it outside, but it gives you a pretty good look at where it needs to go. And that gives Willie a chance to take off. And he comes downhill here. As the other linebackers have gotten caught up and gotten engaged, you can see because of instincts, he's already taken off as the front side linebacker, whereas he's ahead by almost a yard here of Anthony Hitchens, who's engaged by a, a guard and is about to get hung up. He makes it through, makes a nice form tackle up around the shoulder pads uh, of a small running back, so he didn't really have much chance to go lower. That's a nice, clean play. But it's imperative to understand the setup here and the differences between he and the other linebackers that key off of Chris Jones right here. Jones beats this block real, real quick, and that does force this particular lineman to turn his back on Willie Gabe that lets him have a free run right to that running back. But that's not the only thing. What you have to also see is that from the time that the play is snapped, right here, he's rising out of his stance. He hasn't taken a step yet. Anthony's already got a step taken. And as they get here, they're both flowing downhill. Now, this lineman's coming for Hitchens, but the difference is Willie's closing ground faster. And he's 
taking off with this lineman giving him the path, Anthony's got to be engaged here. But rather than fighting through or trying to duck back under it to maintain this gap integrity, he gets hung up with this lineman, lets him get his paws on him, and takes him right out of the play. Had this been a cutback, that would have been troublesome. The other thing that I want to highlight from Willie Gay Jr. is just his willingness to attack. And whether he's always going in the right place or not, that will come with time. But the ability to attack is important. This is another similar situation where Damian Wilson's walked down. Anthony's here. Willie is here uh, with the two deep here. And this is obviously coming out goal line. You want to make a big play. You want to get into the backfield. But look at the difference in the way that the two linebackers attack the ball. Right here. Anthony stands it up, tries to take on with two hands and, and kind of shell it and see where the ball goes, whereas Willie is blasting through this lineman and trying to put a hit on to get him to slow down. In the end, it works, and from the reverse angle, we'll see that it really is about the takeoff. It's about being aggressive and trying to take on your gaps. They get together. to the They understand that as this is aligned, you have likely a block coming from the guard, a combo here, and a slide off, or the reverse. But those guards are what you're going to key on with these two backs coming out. You want to get space. They can probably tell that Locke is the guy that's going to carry this ball. And as it snaps, Willie is already laying his shoulder down to try to stop this action with this guard trying to fulcrum in there and get space for Locke. Whereas Anthony is still trying to stand it up and really have a little bit of uh, view of where it's going. I like that Willie put his shoulder down and gets in there and attacks the ball carrier right away. Held him for a decent game, nothing too earth-shattering, but that's the way that you really get in there and make a difference. Now, if you guys enjoy this one, make sure you hit the like and the sub and the bell notification because we have stuff going on all the time. We appreciate everything that you guys have been doing with us with the reviews and the comments. Let me know what you think of Willie. We appreciate you checking this one out, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. These videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.